So we got uh, Phil Robertson, Al Robertson, and Mike Kellett uh, coming to you from the Unashamed Command Center where we do our podcast every week. Um, we're all three elders, uh, White Street Road Church of Christ. And, uh, you know, we've got a long history uh, with Nations University, uh, and we're, we're pretty excited to be able to, to be a part of your celebration. 25 years uh, is a great milestone uh, to do anything. And so to do what you guys are doing to impact uh, students around the world uh, is great. So we just want to start out by saying congratulations. Uh, and, you know, we've been a part of this really from the very beginning. Uh, Mike and I both worked for the church 25 years ago, and Dad was a brand-new elder uh, at that point in time. And so, uh, you know, I don't know, Mike, I didn't know as much back then as I do now, but uh, kind of what's your memory of the connection to that? Well, I remember, uh, you know, the we'd, we'd had our own school for 20 years. So uh, once that came to an end, we were still very, very diligent in wanting to see men trained around the world. So Nations University, when they laid out what they were doing, it was easy to say, yeah, we'll help sponsor or we'll help do whatever to make this happen because that's kind of our DNA too. Well, it was so probably it was probably Carl Allison, uh, who was the dean of our school, and I knew I know that he knew, knew Mac Lynn, and he's passed away now, uh, and I'm sure Bill Smith. Yeah, was. Carl and Bill were a big part of that, and they were kind of the heartbeat of our leadership training that we had continually going on there too. Right. So we had a long history of wanting to do the same thing: train people to be able to share the gospel, and really to know the Word of God. So I feel like our DNAs are similar. I'm sure that's what drew Mac to WFR to begin with. It's still there, I think, to this day, uh, which is a great blessing. And it definitely speaks to what we're doing now, Dad. I mean, you yep. you being the techno man that you are, uh, so such such a such a breaker of uh, you know of all things yeah. internet, and and yet that's where we do a lot of. And our work. I get into deep theology <laughs> all the time. Uh, what this particular group is doing uh, is like a worldwide university of like-minded people, and they get into the deeper truths of the Bible. And someone says, "Well, how deep?" Are they are they going with it? Well, let's see. Uh, they're letting the world know that uh, you'll know the truth, and the truth will set you free. That's right. And someone says, "So what exactly is their truth?" Because I have mine, and they have theirs. You say, "Well, the truth they're going with is just this: that God becomes flesh, two thousand eighteen years ago. Yep. Our calendars document it." Out of all the individuals who ever walked on planet Earth, we're counting time by one of them. Right. You're like, I think that's worthy a note. And they're saying worldwide, uh, he sets you free from Satan, from sin, from guilt yep. that comes with that, sets you free from a law of works, and the truth sets you free from the grave. If you just think about it logically, someone says, well, is that as deep as you're going? You say, that's about as deep as you need to dig. That's right. Think about it. That's right. You're delivered from the evil one. You're, yep. you're, you're, you're viewed as 100% righteous and holy and justified before God. Right. And the guilt is gone from your past transgressions. Right. And you don't have to be perfect. The one who was perfect, the one who died for you, he released you from a law of works that you never came close to keeping. And the great news is you've got life beyond the grave guaranteed and immortality. So if you think about it, Al, that's a good message, and that's what these guys, they took that's that right. worldwide. And we need to all think in terms of just what they did off of ourselves right. as vessels, part of the kingdom, members of the body of Christ, move forward worldwide. Well, the three of us are elders uh, at our church, and it's always been in our DNA to do exactly what Jesus told the disciples to do in Acts one nine, yep. and that's you know Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the all nations. Go. And so to partner you know, with a, with a group like Nations has been a great opportunity. We're all educated men. We've got multiple degrees from different universities, and yet what God put in us with the Word of God. 
is what shaped us and changed us and it's allowed us to do what we do. So, look, we just want to say congratulations on 25 wonderful years. Uh, we are proud to be a part of your heritage and your mm-hmm. history uh, and hope to be a part of your future. So keep doing what you're doing, Nations University.